What is a gated community? Is it just a bunch of buildings with cabro pavement and a gate at the front? How about a development that spans over 400 acres offering proper jogging and walking trails, schools, shopping malls, diversified communities, numerous recreational parks, a countryside vibe that is only 30 kilometers to the city, and the cherry on top? Some of the best designed and built houses that we have seen in the Kenyan market. Enter the marvel that is Tilesi. Today's show is special because we have a face off between two units that is unit number 100, which is in the market for 29 million Kenya shilling, print area is 272 square meters it has a very beautiful view of nairobi imagine seeing nairobi from your primary bedroom then on this other side we have the second unit which is 269 square meters in the market for 29.25 million kenya shilling and we are going to see how it looks inside but before we go inside i would like to talk about the facade of this house from outside, you'll actually think it's a very small house, but wait till you get inside. I appreciate the way it has been well cladded with the fiber boards, the windows, and they ensure that you get a lot of natural light inside. Then you have that small balcony, which is actually the primary bedroom balcony, and we are going to see that later on in the show. On this side, we have a small car port, which is well covered. You can probably fit two cars perfectly. And then on this other side, there's a small storage area that you can you know put your farm inputs maybe the kids toys such as the football and then another thing that i have to note is these was courses that are all over the property they even put spotlights which is really nice because instead of putting positioning writing that is well fixed these ones you can decide whether they want them to light up your garden or light up your walls before we walk inside the house there is this door that opens to the sq and uh, very well staged that is the one thing that i give this developer staging is not compromised then you have a laundry area and a common washroom i call it common because it is separated and therefore can be used by the sq and the people maybe if you're hosting and uh, you have guests so many guests that maybe the washroom inside the house is not enough with that let's walk inside so that we can see what this house has to offer you have this steel and wooden fabricated heavy duty door opening to your small foyer where you can have a small table console to place your car keys and so on and before we continue with the show we would like to thank you all for your viewership and supporting Mansa Plus. We are almost turning a year and also urge you if you would like to buy a house that you have seen on this show, even if you know the direction to that place, kindly always call Ray or text him, notify him that you want to go to that location to see the house. That way, in case you buy it, we can claim the commission. Those commissions are what enable us to keep the show going. So we need all of them sometimes we meet people and they're like oh i saw your post on this place and this place start to or oh, tilisi and i bought the house and uh, obviously we don't get to get that commission since you did not notify us we urge you to kindly kindly consider doing that thank you so much and now let's continue with the show on this other side you have the kitchen and you're going to start with it since it's just next to the entry and uh, one of the things i like about this space is how seamless it is it's a small kitchen but you don't even feel like it's small it's not small how it is well executed yeah and very functional as well yes everything and is well in place including the dish the yeah. dishwasher exactly yeah and i really like how they played with the space yeah mm -hmm. so yeah even ended up getting a bar and a working countertop yes that and this is where they have their top banners and can you even appreciate the kind of banner they went with it's a six banner we don't get to see this a lot and especially in that uh, price range yeah Most and the fact that the banner is there where you can have conversation with someone that's at the bar or the dinner table or your living room as you're cooking as you're cooking because most of that's the time we are here 
Yeah, most of the times they are there. <laughs> and that, that beats the purpose of the open kitchen. Exactly. Right? Yeah, so this is a perfect open kitchen. And for those of you who love open kitchens, I believe they would find this really amazing. So you have your burners there, then you have your oven beneath, and then you have your smoke extractor. I like the way it has been well hidden, the hood that is. And then the way they played with this wood, I mean, it adds a very nice touch to it. Yeah. Yes. And then on this other side, your counters. I haven't seen this MDF before. Like, uh, I, really, I really want to know what board this is. And I hope someone can tell us in the comments which board they went with. Yeah? Then you have your double sink there with a drying rack. I like that. Then you have a big window here to ensure that you get natural lighting. In fact, they felt that this one was not enough and added another one here. Yeah. And uh, so natural lighting is, is well uh delivered then you have this uh dishwasher the dishwasher doesn't come with the house but i like the fact that they they consider to have a space for it yeah? then this is space for your fridge double also doesn't come with the house but it's like it's good to know that you actually have space for a double fridge again the tiling on the floor is well done and on the ceiling we have gypsum down lighters the lighting is perfect on this side you have a powder room and it just shows you how great they have used this space. It fits everything. Everything. So, then yeah. you have your vanity here. And I mean, the way they have hidden it from the face when you're on this side, you actually mm -hmm. would did say that there's a vanity space. Yeah? Yes. But there's a whole vanity space, even with a drawer. Yeah? On this other side, you have your dining area. This time they, they went with a five seater. I believe you can even put a six seater here if you wanted. Then on this other side, this is where you have your bar area and uh where is when you were seeing the other house you say that you, you comment the, the the bar area yes yeah I almost forgot that this one also had this very nice bar section best no the, yeah. the other house actually has to oh the other house has, has to. to yeah it has the one on the kitchen yeah. counter and yeah. it has the other one yeah. which is on the sunken living room yeah yeah and considering it's a face off i'd like people to note those details so that they can tell us later which house they would go for yeah yes yeah let's continue with this other side and you have your staircase leading to your raised living space and uh with this side they added a different touch to the floor with these laminated floors and uh sometimes the removal can get cold so i i like that they did take that consideration by doing laminated floors for the living space where your walls likely to spend your time and I like how cozy and intimate it looks like. And they even added these fire spaces. I mean, these this are so cute. Yeah, they are. Yeah. And actually the fact that they made that separation of a tile yeah. and the laminates. Exactly. So that, uh, you know, it's safer to play with fire there on the tiles. You remember that and place we toured in Arumoro? Yeah. And they were having a challenge with the fire space because of the wooden floor. Yes. But that is why in this case they went with a tiled area. Yeah. because of uh, the fire space yes. and it looks amazing and the fact that they they matched the colors of the so that yeah so that that section is dark and this other section is a color yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's very unique yeah yeah very unique and then you have your back wall for your tv more windows for natural lighting i like the warm lighting that they have done on the gypsum ceiling one thing I give with these developers, that is uh, whether it's Tilicio or Maisha, is that they, 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 they really get it right with their lightings. Like it's, I mean, and the staging, it's one of the best we have seen in any house tour that we have done. Yes, yeah. their interior design. Yeah. And to commend mostly their workmanship. Exactly, it's, exactly. Yeah. It's really amazing, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Then on this other side, you have a door that opens to a small garden area where you can chill out. They are still working on it, the grass that is. And I believe by the time maybe you're coming to this place in a month's time, the grass will be, we have well covered the whole area. And you can also access this garden by walking around the house from the parking area. So you, in case you're hosting people, they don't have to go through the house to access here if in case this is where you're chilling and uh moving on on this side you have a very nice working area uh where is area one was debating how he would have it as his you know office. yes yes as, as yeah. my ed editing uh, space yeah. yeah yeah definitely uh you know that, that upper shelf has to go in as much as it looks cute it looks really yeah nice. it yeah. has to go because i need to have a, a big screen this there one. 
Yes, because of the coloring the of coloring the videos. And so on. Yes, and the way and it adds to the vibe of this. I thing. know, I know, but at the end of the day, you have to look at the functionality. Oh, we can split it. Yeah. I can get a TV that could fit somewhere at the center, and then you can split that, it. That in. could work. Yeah? Yes, but you have to comment how it has been done and the way it fits into this wall. And yes, obviously, for me, I don't think there's anything I'll change. I'll just have it as it is. And I'm sold for this yeah, house. For me, it's purely because of functionality that I will cut it. But otherwise, you I will never. Like yes, this. I will have it like that. Oh, I do it, guys. <laughs> you know, now if if you made sure that you get all those commissions, uh, <laughs> I'll just have cruised on this house today. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on to this other side, we are going to check out what is on the next floor. And with this, before we take the stairs, mm-hmm. I want to mention something. Yes, we are going to. The second the first floor of this house but you can't even tell because of the way they have played with the the levels yeah remember as we enter the house we we're on a lower level then for the living space we enter a bit up mm-hmm. then now because of that distinction it doesn't really feel like you're going up a stairs yeah you actually think you're still on the same level but welcome to the first level of this house where we have uh the bedrooms actually the kids bedroom so bedroom number one we start with this one uh Lovely, lovely space, stage like a kid's bedroom. And uh, like I said, I don't think I'll change anything. I don't have a kid, but probably just have it like this for the door get a, <laughs> I get a kid, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and I like that they also get these spaces that is for uh, reading, studying, and so on. Yeah. And then you have uh, this glass door that opens to the bathroom space. And one thing you notice with this glass door is how thick it is. Very thick. I think this is nine millimeter. Yeah. So nine or twelve actually then you have your glass shower area very spacious shampoo niche they even staged it with the kid yeah shampoo. That, that, that's cute yeah that, <laughs> this is very really cute yeah this is a developer who doesn't take chances yes and it was not just one another one mm. <laughs> it's it's a it's a well thought process it you know it smells like a ch- uh, a kid's bedroom yeah the vanity setup looks very nice the tiling even in the bathroom and you forgot one detail yes. about that vanity setup yes please Thank you for reminding me. It is a medicine cabinet. Yeah. So there you have it. Thank yeah. You. I mean, it's not common to see those. Yeah. In, 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 especially in, in most Kenyan developments. Exactly for yeah. this, and especially for this price range. Yeah? yeah. I don't know why they deny it. Then on this other side, you have bedroom number two. This is staged uh, as a you know bit for an older kid, I would say. And you have the bathroom on that side. Almost similar, but a bit different in terms of layout. I like the tiling, even the gypsum ceiling they have done. It has a bigger shampoo niche. And then here is the bed space. So once the kid the graduates from that bedroom, they yeah. can come to this one. Yeah, yeah. and they actually get a balcony this for one, graduate. Of course, because, <laughs> because of uh, graduating, yeah. we give them a balcony. Yes. And uh, wow, so from their balcony... They can see, they can actually get views of Nairobi yep. and they can see the other projects in Tirisi and uh, they can also have views of this house that you're going to, to have a look later on. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And maybe before we continue, I should also mention that, remember, this, uh, this place also comes with a clubhouse, comes with a swimming pool. And uh, the beauty about this space is that almost all these space developments have their own clubhouses. So you have so many clubhouses yeah. in one development area yeah i could call it that yes and to have all these amenities in this one place yeah and also the community exactly you know you you don't have to worry about your kid being somewhere maybe they can get knocked down by a car or you know they are just within the development even if they go to the other other estates it's a very safe place to bring up kids yeah yeah for for a small family or also for someone who wants that countryside vibe but not so far away from town Mm. like it's about 20 minutes to town or less yeah yes yeah 10 10, 15 minutes and then there you still have all these people within so your kid can have friends in that other estate which is still within tillis it is still within tillis and now they have to do a cycle to that place yeah enjoy the clubhouse over there yeah. actually the fact place. that there's a school in this community as well yes. you can you can meet other kids in that school exactly. and exactly. also be in the same yeah. area yeah. i mean yeah. that that that's like i, I don't have know. a family yet but i can see myself how that will add yeah, like i can <laughs> i can see how i live here with my family yeah Perfect. yeah okay let's go back inside the house uh we're getting carried away because i mean to this it makes that i mean even the first time we came with you with this i remember you're very happy to see this space yes 
yes yeah. yes and from here maybe i should have mentioned that you ha- the dining area gets a double volume selling yeah uh, which is really cute and yeah and um, because uh in retrospect is yeah. it's really like a, a small space yeah Uh, but it it's it's accommodating for a family exactly but it's like a small space so giving it double double volume ceilings it makes it feel even more spacious oh yes yes, yes. and then the window also ensures that you get more natural lighting within the space yeah and i like the chandelier that they went with have you know the chandelier and the fireplace they have this rustic vibe to mm, them yes they just sort of makes the mood in this house a bit you know like lighten is up yeah yeah okay moving on to the next level and again i like how these levels are well broken well layered it's like you are in a mid mid level yeah yes welcome to what they're calling the guest bedroom so this is where you host your friends when they visit you you have a very spacious bathroom with a cubicle shower area i like the tiling again that has, that has been done also notice that in the bed space you get wooden laminated floors and this is very 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 good another thing you notice it's actually not cold inside the room yeah yes yeah it, it, till this is it's like limuru generally it's a, it's a cold, cold area. area yeah yeah but, but once is, you step in this house they are so warm yeah they are so warm <laughs> i don't know what they have done but they are really warm and as you can see your guest bedroom is very spacious get some big windows to ensure you get na- natural lighting and on this side you have your whole wardrobe turns into mirrors just sliding mirrors yeah. then you have your bed space you have your bed facing the mirror and i think what what a view man yeah. what a view uh, like just looking at myself in all these mirrors yeah uh this is amazing you have you have to allow me to sit here because <laughs> you, people, you want to I, admire I'm wondering yourself. whether people can see you I, <laughs> yeah i'm wonder, i'm actually admiring myself <laughs> And I think I like my suit. I should get more black. Suits. You should get more black suits, yeah. yeah? It's really nice. Yeah, can I can people see that? Can yes, they no they can. They, they, now they can. Yeah. You're really trying to hide because the mirror is huge. <laughs> a whole wall of mirror. Yeah. So And w- when we walked in this bedroom you called it a guest bedroom. Yeah. But I really just want to call it a junior, junior primary. primary bedroom. Yeah. Thank you for that. So guys, this is how you make that joke. You get your two to sleep on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> You actually have a nice bedroom to sleep in. Yeah. Yeah, so you don't have to sleep in the couch. And uh, it's by the way, if, when you're getting a house, I believe you should get a house where you have a junior primary bedroom. Yes. Because they those days might come. Those days might come. Those days course. might come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and again, I like the walls consists. They're really beautiful. Everything is well thought of. You can see there's in, they're very keen on details yeah yes yeah and the lighting the lighting person in this house has done a good job yeah, yeah. like i said the workmanship yeah. even in the interior design yeah the workmanship is just amazing top notch. okay so now we are headed to the next level but even before we continue to that level we just really want you to pan up so that people can see the beautiful skylight that you have that ensures you get a lot of natural lighting within your staircase yeah it's just amazing And and one other thing we really just remember there. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I always commend the stair rails. I forgot to mention this, but this is one of the best steel welded staircases that you have seen. Yes, stair for, rail. One for those who are concerned about their baby boys. Exactly. Yeah, having exactly. to play with the glass rails, you know, yes. and breaking them. Yes. This one is well fixed. This one is just and even the way it is incorporated. Yes. Even the tiling around it. It is need to get down mm-hmm. and and uh, this is a space where it's one of the, those things that you fight with most developers when you're showcasing their houses yeah but this one i give it a hundred percent true yeah and on this other side where well, willis is telling me to go inside is the primary bedroom which is amazing and immediately you enter the primary bedroom you have this walking closet and uh, you have both sides that is your probably his and has but in reality we both know that this will be has and uh the junior primary bedroom will also be has so maybe you can use the kids bedroom <laughs> <laughs> no uh, women are not bullies <laughs> yeah, I, well i'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> then also like the shelving they have done here i'm sure these are the misses would probably 
uh, put the bugs. Yes. Because, I mean, there's no space. Unless you're, you're a bachelor, that's the only time you're going to use this for your briefcase <laughs> or your <laughs> perfumes and so on. Yeah. But if uh, it's just how, uh, then this is how, yeah? Yes. And you have also all these drawers. I'm tempted to open them and see if there's uh, anything special inside, but, you know, just uh, drawers. And, uh, but it's really lovely. I like the way this slide with is It's well done. Mm. On this other side, you have your bathroom space. So which and, and I like the way that you have your bathroom space on this side, then the closet. Closet, the yes. Side. So you walk straight to each other. Then you have your double vanity, well done with this um, cabin, medicine cabinetry. cabinetry. Yes. But even the, the tones or the tilings that they have done, yeah. For example, the way they have this colorful tiling, then this dark tone on this other side. Yeah. It, it just marries really well. Mm-hmm. And and uh, I mean, it's, it's a space that I really love to see. Yeah. yeah. Then... Uh, this other side you have your bed space again wooden laminated and it's really really well lit with natural lighting one thing we can actually count the number of lighting fixtures that you have in this bedroom it's they're very few yeah yes you have these wall sconces then you have uh, these hanging lights the warm lighting that's it mm-hmm. but the natural lighting from these two windows and the window that the door that opens to the balcony area Amazing, amazing stuff. Yeah, yeah. Whew, it's 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 a really good space. Yeah. The only thing I would probably add here is a, another mirror. I would have added a bit another mirror. mirror there. Yeah. You, yeah. you never get tired of seeing yourself. I never get tired. <laughs> and, and, and another, especially in the primary bedroom. You yes. Need a huge mirror. Just to, yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just to remind yourself who you. you yeah. Know, I, I think I think at some point uh, those those uh, consoles will have to go. This ones, yeah. Yes, so that yeah. you can have a full mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, exactly. That's how I feel. I'm, I'm sure they can play a role, especially yeah. if, you know for jewelry and so on. Yes. Uh, but I feel that uh, a, a mirror, a full length, a yeah. full length mirror would uh, for me that is yes. would make more sense. We, we we will find another space for yeah. them. For the, the, yeah, but yeah, I don't know. mirror I, first. Mirror. Yeah. We, I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> so so that for those of you who are into biorism, it can make more sense. <laughs> yes. And uh, welcome to the balcony space of this house. And uh, it's a bit windy today, but also there's uh, some sunshine. And I think I actually appreciate that it is windy because Nairobi of lately has been very hot, really. So, yes, right? it has been quite hot. Yeah, yeah it has yeah. been very hot, extremely hot. Yeah. But with this... Some might say like my girlfriend, but... Let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> well, <Yeah>. but do we say? <laughs> so, yeah, it is. It is. Uh, and the reason I'm saying that is because the wind sort of makes it a bit cool. Yeah. Yeah. So you get a nice breeze when you're here and uh, get a nice view. So I can imagine myself having breakfast with the missus here in the morning. Mm. And uh, we're just watching the view. Or maybe on a less hazier day, we can see Nairobi. Yeah. And, uh, you know, actually, I appreciate the, because the view that you have. Mm-hmm. The immediate view you have is of the Tilisi views houses. Yes. Then from there you see tea farms and onwards you see Nairobi. I'm imagining at night. Mm. Can you imagine how it will light up? Definitely. It's yeah. a it's a marvel to be here at night. It, it is a marvel. Yeah. And this this balcony is really nice. It's really nice. Right. Yeah, it just makes us wanna chill. Yeah. You guys, we might not continue the show if we stay. We continue yeah. like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to stay with this stuff fantasizing. Yeah. I mean, imagine this being your house, man. That would be legit. Yeah. So uh, we haven't seen it all. In most houses, we finish at the primary bedroom, but this one has more to see. You have mm-hmm. another storage area here where they actually have a big mirror. And I believe this mirror was meant to be where they have those table consoles. Yes. But this is good because you can actually use it as, as an office. Yeah. Okay. Yes. This can make sense. Yeah, you can convert yeah. it into. Especially that. if you have a family. It would yeah. be very hard for you to work from uh, the living space. So mm-hmm. you can work from here, yeah? Yeah. Then you have this door, glass door, that opens to this upper living area. So you have uh, this raised counter where you can do your barbecues from. You mm. can have a sink. You can have a. We can add a wine fridge here. You can add a screen here if you wanted. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, again, they also get to chill uh, and enjoy the rest of the estate. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, actually, uh, the thing is, with this side, you act, you get the views of trees. Yeah, yeah. It's it's it feels cooler on this side. Yeah, it feels cool. less windy, just beautiful to chill out and see yeah. trees. Yeah, trees make a place so beautiful. 
They do. They really yeah, do. They do. Yeah. Yes. We should. We should incorporate more of them within uh, these gated communities for them to make sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is a very spacious part here. As you can see, you can even add a bigger table if you wanted. Yeah. In yeah. fact, you have the table. And then you have this uh, chill out zone. So with that, guys, we are done with the two of this uh, house. As I had mentioned earlier on, it's 269 square meters of space in the market for 29.25 million Kenyan shilling. And uh, we want to go to the other side so that we can see the the house. We can see it and uh, compare. You tell us which one you're coming to get. For me, I'm so torn. I'm so torn between the Nairobi view and this one. I think I'll take this house. Honestly, I'll take this one. But let's go and see the other one. We are at the front of the second house and just to remind you this one is 272 square meters in the market for 29 million Kenya shilling faces the Nairobi side it has a normal striking design in terms of facade to the other house but there are different things in terms of layout and you're going to see how that uh, you know uh, influences space inside the house and in the area house we forgot to mention that this small storage area is where you actually store your gas cylinder so it's far far away from the kitchen space on this side you have a normal similar staff quarters to the other house and the laundry area is also there and the shared common bathroom let's walk inside the house so that we can see what it has to offer this path leads to your backyard and you're going to see that later on in the show Inside the house, you have a small table console where you can place your car keys or your glasses. And on this side is where you have your kitchen. Appliances are similar, just like the other houses. That is your six burner and uh, your oven, your smoke extractor that is well hidden. Then you have this cabinetry that I really like the texture they have used. I also like the tone that they went with for the shopping. And let's check the other side, that is the dining area. In this case, the dining area is on the raised part. Actually, you have your kitchen and the dining area raised. Then you have your living space being sunken, unlike in the other house where the living space was the one that uh, was uh, raised. Yeah? So Willis, you say this is your favorite part of the house. Yes, definitely. Uh -huh. Because it's quite, a, especially for someone like me, it's quite an intimate space to, yeah. to have, you know, whenever you're in the dating field and you have uh, your person come to visit you, you can have those intimate vibes when you chug like a little drink, you know. Yeah. Some whiskey, some vibes. Pole yeah. pole it was you're seated there. <laughs> and because you have two bars, yeah. that is also part of the reason why I love this layout. Also gives you more space in case you're hosting many people. Yes. So you can have some people over there and you can have people here. You can have people in those. Th that separation of space is yeah. really important. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And also you get a, like a space there where you can have your pets. Oh, yes, they yeah. do. And yeah. and uh, if that is not enough, yeah, you also get this one. Yeah. 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 And More yeah, so a storage space as well. Exactly. Yes. So and uh, back to this bar, they have also done a really nice shopping for your nice bottles. Yeah. Yeah. So in case you have uh, those bottles that Matenge normally has in his house, mm -hmm. you can just display them. Whiskey, yeah. wine, exactly. whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Coming to this side of the living space, you have this. We also saw this at the other house. Yeah. Yes. So the only thing that is missing here is the bench. Yeah. And uh, this is what Willis was trying to say he would create his working space. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah, and and have a, you know, especially with my line of work, you yeah. need to have a big screen yeah. so that you can see the colors exactly. and the editing as yeah. well. Yeah. Yes. On this other side, you have your living space. Again, as I say, as I mentioned, it's almost similar to the other one, just that it has a different layout. This one, the windows open up to the view of Nairobi and Terrace views. Then you have your tiled area from your wooden laminated floors where you have your fireplace i like these fireplaces they make this space look rustic yeah yes they Just, give it a different vibe exactly to other exactly yes and this is very important in in such an area mm. and they just the the mood is in fact i can see someone was burning wood here man yeah this, <laughs> this is what we need this is how we should living yeah again the lighting and the gypsum is really nice a bit different from the other house 
but looks very nice yeah yes. yeah so guys i want you to pay attention to the details and tell us which house you actually coming to buy which house are you going ready to buy yeah? mm-hmm. and before i forget behind you with this that is why you have the door that opens to the backyard area where you have a small garden where people can lounge and chill as they enjoy the beautiful views and the breeze that you get in this area now let's take the stairs so that we can check uh, more of this space see the differences and uh, you know delight in the, in the house so you have the powder room on this side almost similar you have the vanity there and the water closet on that side then coming to this side you have the staircase leading you to where i believe is we have what really is called the junior primary bedroom yes so oh what they might call a guest bedroom oh the guest <laughs> bedroom yeah yes welcome to the junior primary bedroom then you have the spacious bathroom with a cubicle shower there nice vanity and water closet welcome to the bed space i like that the bed spaces get wooden laminated floors because this area can get cold so it makes them warmer yeah? yes. then you have this beautiful mirror that i love oh my goodness this is the best part about this house yeah i mean for me it has won my heart as well yeah, man, <laughs> like i'm just allow me <laughs> Take a moment. Well, I look good. <laughs> so, I mean, the house is lovely and it has a beautiful view of the terrace views. I want to move these shears so that you can see a bit of that. Look at that. Look at that. That is Nairobi. Can you see it, Willis? I don't you think I can Nairobi. see with my camera. I don't know where the camera can see, but past these houses where we filmed the bungalow, by the way. Yes. And guys, that if you if you want a bungalow you don't want to mash on it you can check it out it's somewhere there then past the bungalow is where nairobi is i can see skyscrapers and i'm just imagining how this place looks at night imagine just laying here in bed and that is my view the view of nairobi lighting up yes ah dude this this is living it's it's quite a beautiful space this is where this house wins yes for me it's, it's the, the views view. yeah the views the views <laughs> Of course, this. that 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 is the that is the winning uh, element. Of this, yeah, yeah, the winning element of this house yeah. is the views. And I think that's the most confusing thing when you're choosing this between the two houses. Yes, because the other one has a very nice layout. That personally, it my favorite. Yeah, but this one has the views that the yeah. views that I want in a house. If only I could get the views. <laughs> yeah, and this house. and this uh, the living space layout. <laughs> yeah. In this house, you'd get in that house. Take. Yes, yeah. this is what I'll take. So welcome <laughs> to this space. Again, notice how the uh, the levels are multi layered, and this is a kids stage, the like kids bedroom. I like the pink tones. It smells really nice. The yes, scent, it does. Yes. It does. It really oh smells nice. And even the layout. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and one thing I want to say mm-hmm. is this this house, the kids' bedroom, yeah. are quite bigger than the other house. The other house. Yeah, yes, that is true. Yeah. I'm conflicted. Like which house, <laughs> which is which? <laughs> which but, is which? But it's really nice. I like the way also they are well natural lit. Like mm-hmm. you know, these houses you'd expect uh, there will be competition of natural lighting because yes. of how close they are to each other. Yes. We actually don't notice your neighbor. We have seen houses where there even a gap. I don't want to mention names of those estates, but in this house, you actually don't feel like uh, you have a neighbor just next door. Mm-hmm. You feel like you have a lot of space. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you have the bathroom on this side. I'm almost forgetting to mention this, but people have to see, and especially the tiling in this bathroom. I mean, the earth tones. Ah. I just <laughs> I love the afternoon. Someone got mad at me and said that I dissed about Kenya people because of their choice of the choice of tiles. tiles. I mean, you have to be dissed. I'm also I'm also from Mount Kenya, <laughs> but I can assure you, if you come to my house, there is a high chance you find something like this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not those. Um, okay, let me stop. <laughs> Moving on to this other side. <laughs> I love my people, but you guys, yeah. you, you've got to up your taste. Yes. And maybe probably use professionals or just buy professionally done places. Mm-hmm. And you have another nice bedroom there. Smells really nice, stage like a kid's bedroom. I believe that before she graduates to that other room, this is where she starts. Yeah? Yes. And uh, the lighting also, I mean, everything about this room. Yeah. I think uh, if, if you're a lady and you come here, Ah, uh, you probably get a baby fever. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. If you walk in this room, you're definitely getting a baby fever. I'm, I'm sort of feeling it. So I can only imagine how it feels. Yeah, when are we expecting the firstborn? Oh my goodness. <laughs> talk to the missus about yeah. it. We welcome an addition to the Mansa family. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. Huh? Yeah. Bring them, bring them to work. Yes. <laughs> bring your kids to work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this one gets a balcony. 
and uh, unfortunately I left my shades outside, but let's check it out. It is front facing, so you have this small balcony space that is really sort of intimate I would say. And I just feel like sitting down here, I'm imagining that when the sun is setting it will be on this side. So what a view, oh my goodness. And the fact that this uh, wall is raised so people can't really see me when I'm chilling here. It feels so nice. <sighs> Where is? Mm -hmm. So I don't know, maybe I can buy both. Be <laughs> yeah. sleeping in that one house and this this one for some time. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just confused. Like I like both houses. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's not a, it's not an insane choice to have both. Okay. <laughs> right? Yes. If I could, I would even have more than because this I believe is a very good investment. If you look at what you're getting, mm -hmm. the community value, because that's where most of the value is, yeah? Yes. And also even the house the way it's designed. Mm -hmm. So welcome to the primary bedroom. And uh, the first thing you get is this very nice bathroom space, almost similar to the one in the junior bedroom. So this one gets almost a similar outlook like the junior primary bedroom, yeah? So in case you're just downstairs, there would be a huge change, yeah? Yeah, you won't feel like it's a downgrade. <laughs> you won't feel like it's a downgrade. <laughs> yeah. Which is not bad for your marriage. Yeah. You need to pay the downgrade <laughs> so that you can act right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, this house, now you understand why the 0.25 million is yes has been added on the other yeah house. in terms of the primary primary bedroom yeah that other house wins over yeah. this one yeah, yeah because this that one you get more value you get a balcony you get uh the views also yeah you get yeah. uh the the wall, nice walking closet the walking closet the bathroom is also bigger in that house yes and funny thing this is the bigger house yeah, so I think most house. of the space went to the other bedrooms mm -hmm. and maybe the backyard also I feel like it's a bit bigger than the other one. Yeah. And uh, this one also gets a very nice views, just like the junior primary bedroom. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it's so beautiful from here. I can see tea farms. I mean, this area is just gorgeous. It's perfect. Yeah. TNC I mean, has th this, this view is also a very huge value addition to this house. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my, my mom loves this place. <laughs> when she saw that bungalow, she uh -huh. was like, what, can we get it? <laughs> so now I'm sure she's going to see this one and she'll be like, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so amazing. I love it. If you're looking for a place to stay that is close to Nairobi, but not in Nairobi, mm. like a 15 minute drive from Nairobi when it's, there's no traffic. Yes. This is it. This is the place to stay. It's it's, a, it's only 30 kilometers to Nairobi. So, I mean, for me, this is perfect. Take Especially because the houses are warm. That's the awkward thing. I don't understand how it is like that, but the houses are warm. But outside you feel a nice breeze, cool, and I'm sure in the evening it's a bit cold. So you light up the fireplace and just, you know, enjoy yourself. Then you sleep to the beautiful view of your neighbor's houses and Nairobi, those lights. City lights. Yeah. And yet you're not in the city. <laughs> yeah. You can never <laughs> put a price on those views. You can never put a price on that. So, I mean, this this for me uh, is a winner. The, I mean, the, the whole project is a winner for me. And yes. I would advocate it to anyone who is looking for, especially a well-executed house. Mm. Because it's not so common to see developers being so keen on the details. Yeah. But in this space, they are really, really perfect. Yeah. yeah. So here we have a similar storage area that I was also advising that can be used as an office, yeah? Yes. So instead of working from downstairs, as William was saying, you can use that one. Then you have this glass door opening to your patio area. I feel like the patio area here is bigger. Don't you think so? Yeah, it, it is bigger. Even the layout is really nice. Yes. Yeah, the I layout mean, is dope. Uh, and even like they took the time to do more with this one. To do, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, roof, yeah, the yeah. rooftop terrace. It looks TV. very nice, yeah? Yeah, it looks very so nice. So you can do your barbecues over there. Mm -hmm. I can imagine myself hosting friends here, relatives. I like that it is covered. Yes. So you can stay here even on, you know, rainy uh, days. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. I mean, you don't have to to carry your cushions when it's raining. Exactly. You don't have to, carry them you don't have to remove them. You don't have to remove yeah. your seats. Yeah? Yes. You don't have to buy uh, all weather seats. You can yes. Just, I mean, it's easy. I was not hope. I, I knew the houses look good, but mm -hmm. I think they went beyond my expectation. Yeah. So I'm, I'm a bit overwhelmed even when I'm discussing them. And um, I would like to say that this is a project that anyone should consider investing in if you're looking for a home consider this if you're looking for an investment consider this willis your last words on it 
I am very much mind blown. Yeah. But this is delicious. I mean, yeah. what do you expect? The workmanship, uh, the the professionalism involved in creating these spaces it's and amazing. curating them. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and even all the houses, mm. they just give you a, a certain value that you cannot get anywhere else. Yeah. 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 I think that to me is like a stamp of quality to Tilisi yeah. because of what they keep on producing. And today I want to actually to add something to that when you talked about professionalism and how the project is executed. Sometimes we see comments of people and people try to say, but you can build this with CG how much? <laughs> I've seen the great stuff you guys do. You guys send us those stuff and you're like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, a, a good contractor will cost you. Yes. So this level of execution, even when you're building for your own private home, if you're going for this contractor, it will not come cheap, it will come pricey. So when you're doing your calculations, really have that in mind. Eh? And especially for people bringing up kids, I'm sure they understand the value of a uh, community and especially a place that is safe where your kids can roam freely. This is a property of 400 acres. Yeah? So your kid can go from one estate to another within the same estate yeah? and chill out with the kids of the neighbor, uh, play, come back. You can jog. People like me who run, we don't have to worry about uh, jogging tracks, safe uh, spaces to jog or to run. Yeah, that community aspect of it is what you probably wouldn't get if you were to build the house for yourself. So if you'd be interested in these houses, all you have to do is to call Ray. He's going to tell you how you can come down here and see the houses for yourself. Please, please, even if you know where these houses are located, because I'm sure some of you do know, give Ray a call. Tell him, I'm going to Tilisi to check out these houses because I like them and I saw them in your show. So you can notify the office that will uh, be there so that in case you buy the house, you get the commission. I'm sure you want the show to keep going. So those commissions are what enable us to keep the show running on and on. Thank you so much and we appreciate your viewership and see you on the next episode. Please, please, if you haven't subscribed, remember or rather consider subscribing. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.